Happy almost Halloween and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Gregory Horror Show Soul Collector. Dun dun dun! This is a survival horror game based on an anime Japanese show called The Gregory Horror Show, which I've never heard of, and I've never heard about this game either because it was only ever published in Japan and Europe. So I guess this is a good game for the PS2? I'm slightly skeptical because from what I've read about this game, it sounds utterly bizarre and uh, I'm ready for this to be another one of those games that we kind of shrug at and think, I don't know why the book included it, but it did, so Jay played it. But uh, let's be a little more optimistic and give it a fair shot. So without further ado, let's start a fresh game here. The first night in the Gregory House. So the Gregory House is some kind of weird old hotel, as I understand it. I found, I found myself, myself walking through a, through a deep, deep forest in a thick fog. It sounded like there were there was a male and a female reading that. How, How did, did I, I get, get here? here? I should, should have been, been home by now. now. Okay, very odd. That's a little creepy. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. So, not being someone who actually watched the TV show, I have no idea if this is just a, a basic recap of the show or what. Um, as you can see, the characters in the show are weird block-faced animals, which I think totally takes away the scary element of it. But again, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be horror as much as it is supposed to be, um, you know, like Japanese anime, which of course is weird. When you stay at the Gregory Hotel, there's only one name you can sign in as, and that's Gregory. Um, you know, when they have those little guest books at the Hilton Inn, I'm always Mr. Hilton Inn. I am also Lord Doubletree and etc., etc. It's a bad joke, but what can you say after you start making a joke? So joke sometimes you just got to own it and run with it. So, uh, wait. I'm afraid we simply can't accept that kind of name. What are you saying? At the Gregory Hotel, no one's allowed to be named Gregory. You just turn Gregory's away left and right. Okay, well, how about my name is, uh, how about we be Jeggery? Because I'm J. See if I can spell it. Jeggery. There we go. Nothing to do with Gregory. Pardon me for asking, but are you male or female? Uh, that's kind of a personal question, dude, but I guess I'll tell you. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. This is like Discount Five Nights at Freddy's. I can't tell if it's supposed to be spooky or not. At this hour. I mean, if you saw that thing in real life, it'd be horrifying, but in the context of a video game, it just looks like a character that they ran out of polygons to render. They're like, oh, we only got four left. Just make his whole head a square. No one will notice. That was a joke. <laughs> yes, it was. So, I think the premise of this game, from what I've read, is you need to spy on other guests, figure out where they're keeping their souls, and steal their souls, because I guess the hotel here is purgatory. I guess, spoilers, I guess, for the TV show, if you're watching this and you've never seen the show, but you're planning on it. I, I, that's probably a very niche audience, a very small subset of a subset of people watching this video, but, spoilers... Um, anyway, you're trying to find the jar they keep their souls in, because we're all in purgatory, and then you give the souls to death, which seems kind of like a dick move to me, so that you can escape. So I guess that's death. Huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? Why does death talk like a bro, dude? You can tell me. What? You can't get back? Hmm. Okay. okay, so I guess they're just setting up the premise of the game. Anyway, you steal souls, you give them to death. Eventually you can escape. Um, and the book says uh, that this game is very well done and that eventually the puzzles become so difficult and obscure that few players ever actually beat this game. And that's like what they say is good about this game. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have the feeling we're being punked. I have the feeling they might have included a few entries in this thousand one book. They're like, no one's going to play all the games. Just put in something. Put in, like, some artistic weird game that you like. But 
Uh, you know, is, is for like a very specific audience. Who cares? No, no, no fool out there is ever going to actually play this book. But little did they know, I was waiting in the wings. Um, I heard an ear-splitting shriek from the next door. All right, so now I am finally in control. We are Block Boy, Jeggery. That is not a made-up name. It looks like I could hang something here. Okay. Looks like I could use this to store books and items. Okay. Can I go to sleep? Maybe Jeggery's had a long night and he doesn't want to investigate the shriek. I can sleep here. Dot dot dot. <laughs> okay. I guess not right now. Um, I think the idea, by the way, of a game where you play a character in a hotel that is purgatory that's creepy is actually kind of a cool idea. It's sort of Beetlejuicy in my mind. But the blocky characters, I feel like, take a little bit away from me. For me, it kind of, like, softens it. And, and, again, that might be... Maybe this is a style of the anime. I don't quite know. But, um, you know, it's... I can't tell if it's supposed to be a horror game or it's supposed to just seem kiddy and silly, but... Guess we'll find out. By peeking through a keyhole, you can see into a room. You can use the triangle button to peek into other places, too. Not just keyholes, guys. Where else can you peek, I wonder? The square button is to knock. Knock on whatever door is in front of you. You can use it to knock on doors. Oh. Oh, well, pro tip. When you can knock on things, doors are an option. Hello? James, is that you? Please don't tease me anymore. That's kind of sad and also sounds like a cat. So that's where they keep the cat people. Hello? Let's peek through the keyhole. Nobody's looking. Let's be a sneaky Pete. All right. That, that, that was the floor, guys, not me. I swear it's the floor. Okay, there's not a whole lot to see there. Let's try the next door down, see what we got going on here. This looks like the infirmary, if I'm reading that wall sign correctly. I swear it's the floor. Okay, we got nothing still. Uh, what's going on over here? There's no keyhole on this door. Oh my, all I can do is knock. Nothing. And let's peek into the library. Remember when doors actually did have keyholes? I mean, I say remember like we were alive during that time, but um, have you guys seen doors that have keyholes? It's sort of a very old school uh, idea. This door is locked. Let's just try and burst into people's rooms. Forget about being subtle and like peeking. Wait, where am I? What happened there? Wait. I I'm lost. <laughs> Wait. Hello? Anyone in here? Anyone at all? Okay, I think we've spied in this room before. Um, hold on. Can I open the door? Ah, uh, Catherine. This is Catherine's room. Just start rummaging through her things. Anything in here? The atmosphere of the game is actually pretty creepy. Like, the lighting effects and stuff, the music, the rooms. This does feel quite creepy. So, I don't know. I, I, I won't say I'm coming around on the game. But I, I'm curious to see where this goes. I'm nothing if not curious. Okay, so not, none of that did anything. This way to the lobby. We don't want to go to the lobby yet. Also, my guy actually... I don't know. Maybe he does have sort of a Beetlejuicy feel. Like, his his eyes look a little sunken. Like, if you guys can, like, see his face. I don't know. Maybe that is scary. Maybe, maybe I'm being too hard on the game. Maybe I need to be more open-minded here. Um, guest room. That is me. Room 101. Um, okay. So, I checked out all these rooms. The library is locked. This door, I think, is locked. And there's no keyhole. Let's try going upstairs. And see what we got. Let's leave the first floor alone for right now. I should explore the ground. Whoa. Okay. I've been in every room, though. What? So is there just nothing left? Get, l let's go to the lobby. Let's see what's going on in the lobby. Wait, is this a door? Did I check this door? Oh, the camera. Wait, what happened? Oh, my God. I'm getting lost here. I think I'm changing the, cam the, the camera angle dynamically. Uh, we're heading to the lobby. I, I, when I hear a shriek, I gotta check it out. I'm just, I'm, I'm a sensitive kind of guest at a hotel. It's none of my business. I'm, sh I'm sure security is on it. This door is locked. But is it locked to eyeballs? To peeking? There's no keyhole. Okay. Let's uh, go to information, I guess. Hello. Is there anybody here? Hello? 
Why is this guy's eyes pointing in different directions? It looks like he got hit in the face with a shovel. Oh, there's a key behind him. I got a map of the ground floor. You better take it. There are several other maps of the hotel besides this one, but I'm afraid I misplaced the other day. Where could they be? Press the select button to see a diagram of Gregory House. Okay. Let's see what will happen if I try and take this key. To refrain from stepping behind the counter. Okay, he, he ain't gonna have it. Okay, here we got some information. Each resident of the hotel follows his or her own daily schedule. Sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule. I like how the other guests are my opponents. Like, they're just people minding their own business, but to me, I'm like, they're my competition. Sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule can be the key to achieve... The key, guys. The key. It's a metaphor. To achieving your objective. Okay. So. Now he's reading the book? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So we, we got to do something to get him to go away. Basically, he probably changes his shift at like noon or something. And then I can get the key. Wait. What, wait, wait, what did he say? Stay away from the cat in the next room. That seems like a biased suggestion coming from a, a, a rat. Oh, the door's locked. Okay, let's check out the map. So, we are here in the lobby. Um, and, oh, there's like showers and a cafe. All right, let's, you know what? Let's, let's check out this whole first floor. Let's see, let's see what's going on. So, if we go straight this way, there should be booze over here. This, by the way, is the kitchen, I think, if I was reading the map correctly, or the... The food hole where they feed you. Here's where they keep the booze. It's locked. Well, I am I am a ten year old boy, so it makes sense. So if we go around the other way, okay. So let's let's go this way. Hold on, can I zoom the camera? I don't know how I moved the camera that one time. Can't see what's going on. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll walk around this corner. Leave the lobby here. And we'll check out the guest rooms on the other side. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. That's how you move the camera. Hey, look. There's a door. That's locked. Door's bolted from the other side. That guest wants his privacy. This is a private party, bub. I'd like to bolt my hotel room shut. Okay, everything is locked. I'm not even peeking in, in doors anymore. I'm just straight up trying to break and enter. See what's going on here. What are you hiding in here? A room full of clocks. Mysterious. Okay, how about this door? Also locked. What are you hiding? The mummy dog. Did you guys see that on the wall? Also nothing. Where are the guests? But this was a hotel. This place is going to be out of business by Monday. By Monday. You know, one time I went to a hotel that did go out of business overnight. It was the strangest thing. I checked into the hotel at like 5 p.m. I was like on a road trip with a friend. We like got a room, checked into the hotel. Um, they gave us drink passes. Like you, when you check in, you get like one free drink pass. So we got the passes. We didn't want to go to the bar that night. So it's like we just didn't use them. Hey, look, there's uh, posters of scantily clad women. Is this door open? Um, no, it's not. Always in the storeroom. Those janitors and their bikini clad women. Anyway, yeah, they gave us, like, drink vouchers. We didn't use them. The next day, we uh, went to the bar uh, to try and use them at lunch, and they were like, oh, sorry, we don't take these vouchers. And we were like, what do you mean? We literally got them from the front desk, like, yesterday. And they were like, yeah, we changed owners over the night, and they pointed us to the sign by the highway, and, like, it was, like, a different sign. The hotel changed names overnight. I don't know how they did it so fast. They took the vouchers, and they ended up giving us the free drinks anyway. They, like, had to swap them or something with management. But, yeah, like, literally, the hotel was a different name when we woke up. I've never heard of that. I've never had it happen since. Never had it happen before. But that was, uh, that was, that was a weird experience. It was one of the weirder experiences I think I ever had um, on a road trip. So, there you go. Old Gaming J is laying out the uh, the personal stories because this game is not really giving us much to work with. What am I supposed to do here? Seriously. Maybe maybe I can just go to sleep? Okay, let's go into the guest room. Maybe it will let us sleep now. Go ahead. <laughs> what does he say when you knock on it? The bed is cold and featureless. That is a scathing indictment. That's his Yelp review. This hotel is cold and lifeless. Um, there is nothing. 
Nothing of to do. No, no one to interact with. No, no seeming. I mean, the puzzle is finding the puzzle. I was gonna say there's no puzzle even. The puzzle is finding the puzzle. What? What am I supposed to do here? I mean, the only thing that there is is that cat door, and they told us to stay away from the cat door. But I'm beginning to think that's the only. It's the only thing we can actually interact with. Can we just leave the hotel? Can we check out? Imagine you check out, it becomes like a totally different game. You're just like in a meadow, scrunching flowers or something for points. That sounds ridiculous, but there is a game called Flower. I played it on the PS3, and you're just a flower petal, trying to gather other petals to go places in the wind. That's <laughs> that's the game. I'm not I'm not making it sound more ridiculous than it really is. That's That's the game. I legit have to look up a walkthrough, like, I'm gonna go interact with that cat door, and if I can't figure it out, like, okay, the cat door, like, there are speech bubbles, it won't open, there's a padlock, oh, we can look in, oh, hey, there's her soul, uh, you're the one who moved in next, uh, door yesterday, aren't you, I need to talk to you. Go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. Okay, we have a mission. To get to the lobby. Just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. Patchwork cat. So, pro tip, if you check into a hotel, don't just take the word of somebody who seems to be locked in the room next to you. They may be locked in there for a reason, but I'm I'm going to go and free her. Probably take her soul and give it to death himself. So here's the thing. How do I get this guy to leave? The key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then, one stormy night long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty dark. What kind of TV show could be based off this, by the way? <laughs> this is based off a show. Oh, what a horrible thing. This definitely should not be a kid's show. I don't understand why they're all stuffed animals. A nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. But if his eyes, nose, mouth, and ears are all sewn shut, how much of a threat can he be? Like, he wouldn't even know where you are in a room. I simply cannot allow you to have that key. I wasn't asking, bub. I was taking. Okay. It's 1230. Well, then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds. Huh. So he says, I can't have the key, but I'm going to leave now for no apparent reason. I got to go check on all the guests that aren't here. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and take this key. <laughs> Puzzle solved. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, key items are tools you can carry around. They can help you escape. Use the key item with the X button. All right. We have the key. Hey, wait. Can we go in this room? The door is locked. Okay, I guess he's too stupid to use the key on that door. Whatever. Um, okay, so our first puzzle was to basically look in a keyhole, then take a key. Uh, the key to the keyhole. So it's meta. Uh, I, I guess I'm just dense for it taking me this long to figure out. Should we open the door right in front of this guy? I feel like no. We'll let him leave. You can get out of here. And we'll just open it, like, right behind him. Uh-oh. If I may ask, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> okay, we'll wait for him to leave. Does he show up on our map? Oh, he totally does. I get a Five Nights from Freddy's vibe from this game. Do you guys find, like, the, the stuffed animals? It's kind of like the weird animatronic animals in Five Nights at Freddy's. I definitely don't feel scared. Like, Five Nights at Freddy's kind of makes me terrified as a game, but... No, oh, I'm just standing here for no reason. Carry on about your business. And that's that. Now to get back to the front desk. All right. You have fun manning the front desk. You're going to be here doing nothing. Don't worry about that missing key. I'm sure it's fine. Clink. I used the padlock key. All right. Patch face clown. Give me your soul. I'm so hungry. The Neko Is it zombie. dinner yet? Yikes. We meet at last. 
This is, they, they hired like the creepiest little kid to do this voice. My name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? Oh God. Do we get a choice? I said no. I don't need your sympathy. Okay. How's he talking with a mouth sewn shut? Are you ready, Jeggery? Totally not a made up name. The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Okay. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. Is that because they want to keep me trapped or they just don't want to give up their souls? Because we got, we got a lot going on here for me to leave this hotel. So. Yes. You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, okay. you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. But I had to peek into the keyhole to see you. Okay. So I guess we're still in the tutorial phase. Peek! Oh, the mystery of peeking. I'm peeking through a padlock, by the way. The logic of it doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you about my weak point. My weak point is food. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. Okay. The mystery of the favorite food. Okay. I'm hungry. Okay, so obviously something sweet. Something that's not too cold, so not ice cream. And something that's dessert. Okay, so it's it's the most basic of puzzles. By the way, his soul was just floating there in the hall. Why couldn't I just totally snatch it? Like, he, he didn't seem to be... Um, come back into my room. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm going to get you your snack, buddy. Uh, but he didn't seem to be in the best of shape. I feel like I could have just snatched his soul and run away, and that'd be that, you know? I guess he's going to trade his soul for a delicious treat. Try and guess what I was talking about. Okay, was he talking about banana? No. Ice cream? No. Lemon? No. Chocolate? A mobile phone or crisps? I like how they have the British name for potato chips. Chocolate? A dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Yes. That's I'm not an idiot. I can answer basic questions. <laughs> basic semantic questions. Um, all right. Oh, I didn't even need to get him the dessert. He, he just wanted me to know what his f favorite food was. I was going to go get you some chocolate, dude, but this is a lot easier. Take my soul. I don't need it. Okay. There we go. Is he going to hold it above his head like Link in The Legend of Zelda? Yes, I have a soul. It's like that Simpsons episode where Milhouse bought Bart's soul. Then he had double the souls in the afterlife. Each right. of the guests in this hotel. I'll tell you what, guy, I haven't seen a single other guest, so I don't know what guest you're talking about. Who are the guests? I don't want to know any of this. Um, I'm sure that all these characters are in purgatory or dead or something. Like there, It seems like there is kind of a creepy backstory here. But considering we're like almost 30 minutes in and we've, we're have we really still on the tutorial puzzle, I kind of want to try a puzzle or two. If you want to hand the souls over to death. Okay, so you sleep on your bed when you want to give death the souls. Now it reminds me of like an old quote that said something like sleeping is just die is just uh, death practicing or something or like death getting in there. Uh, I'm butchering the quote. Should I get some sleep? Um, but yeah, it's something about how like like sleep is basically just a little bit of death. Come on now, give it up. Throw away all them worries. All right, buddy. All right, bro, dude. Brosif. Oh, yes, I have some souls for you. The first night. You brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Weird thing was, there was a guy chained up in a room next to me. Didn't need his soul. So, I'll see if I can find any more excess bulk souls okay, that uh, people aren't using anymore. Maybe I'll go to a yard sale, pick up a whole bunch. I'll stamp your card. What is this, like a subway sub card? Every soul you... You bring me five souls and you get the sixth one for free. Alright, so death comes to me in my dreams. And I give him souls. 
I'm getting more, you know what? The game is the game, but I'm getting more and more curious about what this show is actually about. Are these characters from the show? Is the show about a little kid at, in purgatory trying to steal souls to give to death? If so, that is very creative. Something important to tell you, come to my room when you wake up. I wonder what it could be. He wrote me a note, left it on my table while I was sleeping. That's so creepy. Then he wanted me to come talk to him. Did you sleep well? I've got to talk to you about you. Okay, what's up, buddy? Catherine. I know her room. It's like right next to yours. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Oh. What? Catherine loves to draw blood from people she doesn't like. She lives okay. two doors down from me. She lives in the hotel, eh? He's listening. Oh, let's go beat him up. There's two of us. Oh, it's Catherine. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, yikes. I like how her soul's just floating around beside her. This collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. What? No. Please, no. Okay. I guess it won't be that easy to collect the soul. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's soul. More hints. Lay them on me, buddy. Uh... Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's figuring out how to solve puzzles. This is so awesome. What? There's a child rat now. Because why not? James, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! Hey, what the heck? They dubbed that wrong. He said garbage, not rubbish. Error! Error! Alright, you store that banana peel in your pocket, buddy. Yeah, that kid. Kids! Always leaving their banana peels all over the place. The the younger generation has no respect for fruit. I tell ya. Alright, Catherine. That is your name. Oh. Oh, God. She sees me. You're Jaggery, the one who's been collecting souls, aren't oh, you? This makes me want to do terrible things to you. Yikes. I think I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, lady, if someone was coming for my soul, I would also run away. I'll never let you have this soul. How about I peek into your room? Would that be okay? Would that be kosher? Hello. Okay. This gives me absolutely no information whatsoever. Okay, so she's over there. Let's uh, let's go over this way and just sort of let's feel this out a bit. See what we can figure out. Okay, she's just staying over there. So we'll take the long way over. Is she still there? Ah, oh, son of a bitch, she's moving. My guy does not have a hustle. He is slow going. Well, everyone's over here. Look at this. It's a dude party. So she's over there. Can't tell what way she's facing. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, she sees us. <laughs> okay. I think I figured it out. When she kind of sees you, what you need to do is, like, hide. So here, here's my belief. Somehow it's going to involve this kid. We're going to have to sort of watch her while she interacts with the kid, and I think that will be her weakness or whatever. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know what the kid is doing. He's, like, following me or something. Okay, the kid is unfazed by my existence, so it's just the nurse who keeps running away. I'm gonna go through here and see if she's having like a conversation with someone or what. Oh god, oh god, she sees me! Go back through the door. Is she running? Oh, I don't think she did run away. She just kind of, she saw me blatantly, but wasn't enough to spook her. Okay, let's give that a minute. Problem is there's nowhere to hide once you walk out of that 
door. Oh god, oh god. Ah, she ran away again. Alright, so the uh, intro to this air to this sort of uh, part of the game when the kid threw the banana peel down is a hint to what you actually have to do. Although I guess you would just know this by getting bored and trying random things, but it's totally like a moon door logic kind of thing. Not entirely, I will say, because you know you did kind of get a hint, but apparently that banana peel from the beginning of this section was thrown out in the garbage in the kitchen somewhere. So if we can find the garbage, we can get the banana peel, and then I think you c you can figure it out from there. You can put two and two together. So once you have a banana peel, if there's somebody who's running in a cartoon or something like that, there's a simple way to make them fall. Boom! Banana peel! I got a banana peel. Um, switching between key. You can change the current item by pressing R1. Alright. So R1. Kid. Beat it. <laughs> I'm trying to steal a lady's soul, kid. You're really just getting in my way. Children. Alright. Um, oh, he's following me around. Maybe I could take his soul next. There must be something to do around here. Maybe that's like a hint for the next part of the game or something. Anyway, all right. So, okay, so we're going to put the banana peel just north of her room. And then hopefully we will lure her over there, make her trip. Apparently when she trips, you can just straight up <laughs> gank her soul from her. So it's just straight up mugging. It's just, we just simply can't catch her. Uh, but if we could, it would just basically be like that episode of Seinfeld. Give me the rye, you old bag, and we'll just rip the soul right out of her hands. Don't feel bad, though, because she's a bad person, because she likes to stick people with big needles and draw their blood. There you go. There's the banana peel. And now... Here, we're going to knock on her door. When she comes to answer... Hello? Anyone? What could this be? It's me! And I want your soul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. She got knocked unconscious by the banana peel. We're straight up taking that soul. Now's my chance to get your soul. I'm like I'm like some terrible kind of goblin robber dude. I've thiefed her soul. And now she fades out of existence because she is truly dead. All right, now I can get go see Neko Zombie. We'll just leave her passed out in the hall there. Surely nothing bad will happen to her. Good job. But Catherine's on the warpath. If she gets you, it'll be needle time. Uh oh. She's still alive? I have her soul. Don't... Doesn't that normally kill people? Oh, God. What is she stabbing? Her bed? It's gone! It's gone! My soul, it's gone! I would be similarly upset if someone stole my soul. Taking it. Now I'm really angry. All right. So instead of running away, I'm going to chase you. Now that you've stolen a soul from one of the guests, that guest spots you, he or she will start chasing you. If you get caught, you'll be forced to watch a horror show. Oh, the humanity. I mean, that's isn't that what we all tuned in for? The horror show? What can you do about it? Simple. Just run away. Okay. One last thing. Around here, the power of your beliefs is everything. Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? If your mental gauge, the strength of your mind, drops to... Oh, I see. It's just your health. ...be able to escape. What's that? I saved the worst for last? As long as you're in the hotel, will decrease little by little. If you're forced to watch a horror show, your mental gauge will drop big time. If the gauge drops to zero, you'll be stuck in the hotel forever. To replenish, you need to get plenty of sleep. Make sure, make use of a herb-type items, a la Resident Evil, and refresh your mind. Yeah, making use of those herbs really helps the mental gauge, if you know what I mean. Your mental gauge represents the strength of your mind. Right. So whenever you're carrying a soul, It'll resonate with you. That means you. Okay, blah, 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 blah. We get it. Mental gauge, total destruction, purgatory, eternal purgatory. We get it. Just speed it up, bud. Tomorrow, you'll be going after Judgment Boy's soul. Judgment Boy? 
I do not know Judgment Boy. Who is that? Do you know my name? Judgment! What the hell? <laughs> what is Judgment Boy? Came to the hotel to pass final judgment on troubled hearts. You did a good job today. Tomorrow's. Okay. Well, you know, I kind of want to see a, a Gregory horror show. So I guess I will sleep, but I also want to see, like, the nurse attack me and get her soul back. I'm rooting for the nurse, damn it. Come on now. Give it up. Throw away all them worries. All right, death. Another soul to feed your insatiable urge for souls. Stamp my subway sub card. I'm looking forward to that free sub. I'm doing this all for a cold cut sub. Footlong. Uh, hand over the soul. Why would you not hand over the soul? I don't 100% get... I guess the souls are like, give you save points or something. But uh, either way. It has only been the first night and I've gone to sleep twice. My guy just sleeps in a series of power naps. Alright. Catherine is turning into one sixth of, sixth of a sub. This guy's reading his book. He's just very intent on reading about all the guests who've entered, because uh, that's the guest book, I assume. He wants to know about all the guests that have been in the hotel. I'd better start getting ready to receive the new guest. All right, here comes <laughs> Judgment Barney, or whatever his name was. Judgment Joe, what was his name? Judgment Boy? Something like that. Uh, some kind of mechanical robot that judges souls somehow. For some reason, he was programmed to judge souls. Wow, that was refreshing. Somehow, I feel full of hope. Don't judgment! get too complacent, buddy. Oh, there's Judgment Boy. You know my name. Judgment! Okay. This is this game is so Japanese, it's scary. Hmm. Now that I look at you more closely, I see you've got an awful lot on your mind. If you ever judgment want boy. my help, just bring a symbol of your problem. Oh, then I'll give okay. you one of my special judgments. What, what does that mean? Judgment! How do I find you if I need you again? Who knows, I guess. Let's, uh, let's go see a horror show. You know, we came all this way. Alright, Catherine, your time for revenge is here. Ooh, a medical pack. I'll just go ahead and take that. I got a bandage. Hey, she's not even here. Oh, she's just wandering the halls. Okay. All right, rather than wander around aimlessly, I went ahead and took the uh, took the step of cheating this time around. Um, because I want to see... <laughs> what? I got a key item. Dirty book, erotic night. It's like the Fifty Shades of Grey in the uh, Gregory Horror Show universe. All right, we got a dirty magazine. Well, we've seen everything we need to see here. <laughs> no, let's actually see one more soul. Uh, but yes, rather than wandering around, wondering what to do, uh, let's let's use some uh, use some internet tips to help us get through this. I got green herbs. Uh, yeah, you did. Um, yeah, I, so this game is like really, really just sort of like a, a Sierra style adventure game where you just sort of have to find random items like. Like, nothing about Judgment Boy necessarily tells me what we need to do. But here's what we have to do. We took that, like, dirty book. We have to go give it to Gregory, whose hotel we're in. He'll swap it for another book. And we show that to Judgment Boy and answer a quiz. And if we answer right, we get his soul. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. I think this game would be just a lot of, like, trial and error and exploring. Oh, he's not even here. We just straight up take his book? More green herbs. This place is littered with herbs. The ganja's all over this hotel. What kind of hotel you run in here, Jeremy? Or Gregory, or whatever your name is. Alright. We said we wanted to see a horror show. I want to give you guys what we all came here to see. Me getting stabbed with a needle. Alright, take it away. What's your face? Wait, where is she? Oh, she, maybe she's in the infirmary here? Is there an infirmary here? I can't even see the wall. There we go. Hello? Anyone here? All right, you wanted your revenge, take it. All right, now we get to watch a horror show. It's like a full episode of the cartoon, probably. All right, give me that blood test. 
It'll be painful, but you'll also test me for all sorts of diseases, which is good for my long-term benefit. Oh, she's taking it right out of my skull. I need that blood to think. Oh, that felt so good. You know what? I stole her soul. So, I mean, you gotta give her... You gotta give her something. Okay, is she gone now? Yeah, and then she disappears. Okay, so... That's... That's the horror show, I guess, if you get caught. Um, now, let's go find Gregory to give him this book. I don't know why I've developed an accent. It's, it's doesn't make a lot of sense, but frankly, I don't know. Hey, can we use the magazine? No, we can't. How do we use the, the green herbs? Item. The smell of the green herb relaxes you. Rest <laughs> We all know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Use it when you've got a boo-boo. Okay, I'm gonna use some herbs like a man. Not a bandage like a boy. Alright, my mental energy has, has reinvigorated myself. You know, they say that you need mental energy to survive this place, but she literally jammed a giant needle in my brain and took a, lot, a significant amount of blood. I don't think that was just... You know, mental fortitude she was taking. I feel like that did physical damage to my my thinking brain. The thing that lets me think so good. Ah, uh, how nice to see you. All right. Oh, oh, where did you found you a dirty book? You don't say. You found it in Catherine. Look how excited he is for smut. This is a man who has not seen any action in a long, long time. Yeah, confiscate it. I'm gonna have to go and uh, confiscate it and look over it. Card it with my life. Yeah, you can have it. Would be wise not to make too much of a fuss. <laughs> He's gonna go read that magazine. He totally is. Uh, someone's picked up the book that I lost. I think you should read something more tasteful. All right, he's gonna give me a book. So, if you're looking for such a book, I suggest you try the. I'm sure a little reading will make all of your work. Okay. Now then. So then we go and we take this book instead. This is the self-help book. Okay. This kid is still following me. You know what? Can I take the kid's soul? I really want to take the kid's soul. Is that on the table? Back in time number one. Sweet. The Marty McFly story. Can I take the letter? Um. Hey, what the heck? Oh, that was weird. My control seemed reversed there for a second. I thought the kid messed with me, but I think it was just a bad camera angle. All right, we got the book. Now we basically just go talk to uh, Judgment Boy. And we're all set. All right, Judgment Boy, get over here. I got a book. It's going to change your world, man. You ever read The Secret? Totally eye-opening. And... Bring me an object that symbolizes your problems. I have none. How about the self-help book? No! No, don't go into your room. You idiot! He's right there. Okay, that was that was a little pointless. Judgment boy. Where are you? He's up that way. Wait, am I going the right way? I think so. Judgment boy! Judgment boy, what are what is he anyway? He's like some kind of robot. He's a spirit-powered robot. Look, there's just green herbs everywhere. What kind of joint you run in here, man? Smut. Green herbs everywhere. Banana peels strewn about the hallway. A lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, slow down. I wish I could run. Hello. Judgment! All right, I got a book for you. It's a time travel adventure book called Back in Time. Um, sure. I'll give you the cell phone. It's time to judge which path your future will take. Okay. You're a bright young man who's accidentally wandered into a hotel from another dimension. Uh, am I? Is this a hypothetical or are you just describing what actually happened to me? I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. You know you know what's up then. Danger! You can't run and you can't hide. So, what do you do? What do I do? Give up or just try and stop me? I feel like that's the correct answer. Alrighty then. Let's ask the scales of truth. Okay. Go ahead, scales of truth. Will it be money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Or a five-ton 
acme-sized comedic weight. Judgment! This guy loves handing out judgment. He's like probably the judgiest friend you could ever have. Um, he didn't drop the heart. He dropped the dollar sign. It shattered into pieces. No matter how tough things got, you never gave up. What does that mean? What is the metaphor of you can either have money or love and money comes out and breaks? What does that mean? You're losing me, man. You're losing me. Your metaphors are dense. Way back to the real world. Okay. Truth, see ya. You bravely faced your fears and followed the direct path. Okay. So, when my options are keep trying or give up, by selecting keep trying, he gave me his soul. The characters in this don't make a lot of sense. I will tell you. They don't make a lot of sense. Okay, and that that's yet another soul. And Judgment Boy, I guess, will just continue to wander. I wonder what would happen if we had given him the time travel book. He probably just would have really gotten into it. It's a great read, mind you. I like, by the way, how he stole that woman's soul. And she did want revenge by stabbing me in the, the head, but she's also made no effort to track me down. She's like, in the other side of the hotel, doesn't care that I'm still out here stealing souls. She's like, oh, well, I, got, I gotta go to work. I mean, I want revenge on this kid for taking my immortal soul, but I also gotta be in the uh, the clinic for nine hours a day, so I'll maybe I'll get him after work if I have time. If I'm not too beat after work. All right, one more soul for you, you sneaky Pete. The first night. Do we actually get to a second night here? This kid has had three sleeps in one night. I don't think he's on a very good sleep schedule. Also, the night seems perpetual. I'm pretty sure there's no day. We are in the afterlife after all. Or purgatory or whatever. Would you look at that? While we've been here jabbering, a whole bunch of new guests moved in, and they got souls too. I'm just like your dirty henchman, and I, ain't I? You you say bark and I say how loud. I'm just gonna go steal everyone's soul. I don't know if I want to be in the soul harvesting business. It's it's one of those things you kind of fall into after college. You harvest a soul here and there to make ends meet, and before you know it, you're just some lap dog harvesting souls all over the place. And you look at your life and you wonder, what am I doing with my life? Dinner's so adorable. My Catherine, you certainly know quality when you see it. <laughs> You know, if you cleaned up the characters a bit and made them look Tim Burton-esque, I bet this game would be, like, far spookier. So I don't think they were going for spooky. I think they were going for, like, comedy or something. I don't don't 100% get it. But uh, anyway, uh, if we can skip this cutscene here. Oh, there's, there's a cutscene after the cutscene. Okay, so story, story, story. If you're, if you're into this game... Um, it, it, it does seem to have some, like, interesting sort of character, and... But, uh, if we're just getting back to the game here, I... Can I skip this? No. My, my, my so the next girl is a girl who lost her doll. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a, a, a dog with an axe in his head, and the mom with a sword in her head. All right. I like how we're going to harvest the soul of a little girl who lost her doll. There's also a cactus gunman. <laughs> very, very oddball cast of characters. Are we going to steal her soul, too? There's children here, man. We're just taking everyone's soul. Young, old, doesn't matter. We don't care. We're the devil's hand man. Right hand man of Satan. Um, anyway, I had a refreshing sleep. Let's go steal some... Some uh, immortal judgment from people. Um, anyway, this is Gregory Horror Show. I feel like uh, we've, we've seen a couple of soul harvestings. Uh, it, it's pretty much same old, same old from here. You kind of encounter these puzzles. We can actually go upstairs now, by the way. We'll take a look at that before we wrap up. But uh, there's new guests. You kind of peek in on each of them. You kind of figure like what their weaknesses are. And then what you do is you go and you find some item or object that will allow you to act on that weakness. And then you steal their soul. And that's uh, basically how the game operates. Uh, as I say, the book says the puzzles get really obscure. So if you're not playing this with a walkthrough, I imagine some of the later puzzles are quite difficult. But I mean, honestly, those first few ones were not even very obvious. I, I admit, hey, look, a totally golden room. That's cool. 
I admit the very first puzzle I should have solved way faster than I did. Because um, they only had that one door that had anything going on. But I, for some reason, didn't realize you could, like, poke in its keyhole and take a look. But that said, like, the nurse one wasn't even really that obvious. So I, I hesitate to think how much more obscure they can become. But yeah, I don't know, like suitably spooky-ish, I guess, for Halloween. I still kind of feel like there's mixed messages going on in this game. Oh, we don't even have a map, by the way, of the second floor here. Um, I guess it's supposed to be spooky, but it has a little bit of a zany element to it. The block characters actually are, are fine, but... Um, I mean, I guess, like, the kid does look kind of Tim Burton-esque, so... I don't know. I, I, I think I was being too critical when I said the characters are blocky and it takes away from the game, necessarily. But... I think this is basically an acquired taste. You you either are interested in a kind of puzzly adventure game where you have sort of the Moongate logic thing where it's not really obvious what objects you need. I mean, I guess you could be spying on people, get some ideas, but like the nurse, you needed the banana peel. How are you supposed to know where the banana peel was? Oh God, there's the little girl. Um, the door is held tightly shut by the force of the lost doll's spirit. Oh, hello, my dolly. Oh, God, she's attacking me. All right, we get one more horror show. I don't have your dolly. Please don't. Please don't take my soul. You look like the most evil little kid I've ever seen. She's totally gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Scare me, I guess. What is happening? Does she have the spirit of the lost doll in her? Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, the, the atmosphere of the game is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I think the gameplay in this game is more cryptic than I would personally enjoy. So playing this without a walkthrough is just not really my thing. But I think playing it with a walkthrough kind of spoils the puzzles. So I just think I probably wouldn't play this game. But if I had a friend who owned it, who knew what was going on, it might be kind of interesting to watch them play it. Um, the characters are kind of interesting, but... Um, Oh, he's just straight up running from me. I thought he was going to kill me. Come back! Finish what you started! Shoot me! <laughs> um. Oh, is the doll girl going to kill me? I think she's... No! It's time for a showdown with my brother. Oh. The little cactus girl is going to kill me. Yeah. Alright. Well, this is as good a time to end as any. She threw a lasso on me. Are you impressed? And knocked me out. I passed out from sheer fear alone. So the game, there is a sort of more action as the game goes on. I guess you got to pay attention to where guests are. Not get lassoed in the face. My green herb was stolen. She robbed me. She robbed me. Anyway, this has been Greg, your Horror Picture Show. What do you guys think? Uh, it's one of the games from the book, A Thousand More Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. My guy's getting sad and injured. Um, I think in terms of gameplay, it's not necessarily a game that most people are going to enjoy. So I would say this is not a game you must play. It is an interesting and unique game, and it did never come out in North America. So in the sense of, like, rareness uh, and something that was its own thing, I could see this being something you might mention to people in terms of, hey, like, have you ever heard of this game? It's quite unique, especially if you like puzzles and or sort of Tim Burton-esque type things. But uh, beyond that, yeah, I don't think, like, the gameplay would really suck too many people in. Uh, again, you'd need a very specific kind of person, so... Yeah, those are my thoughts on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, am I dead on? Dead on? Get it? Because it's almost Halloween. Or am I dead off? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out the video. I hope no matter what you think of my opinion of the game, you had fun today and you had a laugh. If you did, my job is a success. And uh, I hope you guys will tune back in soon for another video and another game. So until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves. And I'm just going to be stuck in purgatory in a hotel full of crazies. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, peace. Hey, this door's open now. Hey, there's a fortune-telling frog in here. Save this game? Ribbit? Oh. Nah.